This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by NordVPN. Head on over to nordvpn.com slash rogue. Spell it right, R-O-G-U-E. Get a huge discount on two years plus one month free. Yee. Yee. What she said. Um, I mean, we've got this nice new wall of logs. Do you know I got a Brom Stoker Award for this? What's that? It's, it's something I just lied about. <laughs> Who put up the flip flop zone sign? It's perfect though, it's isn't it? Re- no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got uh, Joe Diamond back here at Modern Rogue HQ once again. Yeah. Now, I hid something remarkably valuable. Okay. This copy mm-hmm. of Necromancers on Drugs by Ooh. Jason Murphy, book two in the Occultex saga, if I can be so bold to call it that. You were told to hide a copy of one of your books. I was isolated. And we're going to attempt to relocate the object through an old technique. Now, we've been on the show before talking about pendulums and Ouija boards. We did a pendulum bottle last time. That said, Annalise, I know you're experienced with these. You also have your epic hermit t-shirt on. Not on purpose. <laughs> that's, no, that's this perfect. This would have been for yesterday. That, that, yeah, yeah, for, for, for cardamancy. Unprepared for all the witchcraft. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. What did you expect? Oh, it, it's about to get worse. Uh, hold on to the bead at the top. <laughs> oh, is she, yeah, it, yeah, me? No, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, the bead at the yeah, top yeah, right yeah. there? Okay. And this is a basic recap. We don't have to go into all the details, but just will that pendulum swing back and forth in a straight line without consciously moving your hand? Just think about going back and forth and eventually it does go back and forth. And if you think about going in a circle, eventually it will go in a circle. Yes? Yeah. There it goes. There it goes. Now here's where we're gonna get a little closer. Just think of an ob, or think of a direction. You can think of side to side, out and back, a clockwise circle, a counterclockwise circle. The only direction you're not allowed to think of is up and down, because if you can pull that off, you can take my job. So just think of a direction, and after a few moments, the pendulum will swing in the direction that you are merely thinking of. And if you take a look, it's go. It should it's be happening. going. Now here's the cool part: if you change your mind and think of a different direction, yeah, you can even look at the pendulum as it does it. It adjusts and goes in the new direction it's, you're thinking of. I swear I am not trying to yes. do this. As yes. we know, this is the idiomotor response, yes. right? Yes. Now this has been used to find objects. Uh, here's the thing though, we're not gonna use it. I'm gonna be the pendulum. I can't hold you up with one arm. There's You're gonna hold on personal. to my wrist. Okay. Do I swing yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, you don't swing me, no, no. <laughs> I'd love to see that. You were there when he hit the object Correct. as well. Okay, so you both know where it is. Mm-hmm. I may need to swap back and forth depending on how this goes. So, Jason, you're just gonna take hold of my wrist, okay? Okay. Kind of like how you controlled the pendulum with your mind, you're gonna control me with your mind. Okay. Okay. I will lead. It's gonna be like, be like playing hot and cold, but not out loud in your mind. So for example, let's just, uh, we're on the patio here. Yeah, yeah. Let's start by just thinking of uh, one of the corners. That one, that one, the back one there, or the back one there. One of the just, corners of the patio? Yeah, yeah, just think of one of the corners of the patio for okay. right now. Okay, okay, I'm doing uh, it. And, and just imagine, you, like, uh, this is a remote control that you can lead me yeah. to that corner. Okay. okay. That you can just but lead me to that corner. Just don't say anything just yet. Uh, just imagine. I'm, I'm going to say you were wanting me to go to that corner. You can tell us yes or no if I'm correct. You are incorrect. I'm incorrect. Okay, so I am going to have to adjust. Think of where the book is. Uh, think of which direction we need to go in. We're just we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. Keep uh, yeah there was yeah. A don't, chair. don't don't knock into don't knock into things. Okay, I don't think you hit. I was tempted to go to the teepee, but I don't think you hit it there. Let's I keep going. I want to just start walking down the road. Yeah yeah, we we can we <laughs> just can. Just like not giving you anything. Yeah no no don't, don't do that. Uh, we're coming up to the gazebo in Brian's murder shed. Um, yeah, I don't know what I he does in there. Yeah. Ah, yes, this is where we had the Ed Stilts episode. That went really well. Oh my God, my legs hurt just thinking <laughs> about it. It's like right here. That's there's there's not many places to tuck a book in there. Let's keep going. Okay. Just toss don't it chuck in. it in the pond. Uh, I just scanned past and just saw the Samson and the Chooch poster way over there. All right, let's go this way. I'm already like usually pretty uh, like a sweaty guy. Yeah. So I want to apologize no, for getting all good. of my We're good. fluids on your arm. We're good. My uh, vital juices. 
Uh, yeah, just think of. Oh yeah, I gotta think about it. Yeah, right, yeah, right. think of where where you want us to go. Okay. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't care if I'm right or wrong. We're gonna go inside just for a quick air conditioning break. Oh, that's um, a good call. So, uh, I have to pee. I think. Okay. But I'm not gonna let go of your arm. Yeah, let's go in here where there's air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Summer uh, sucks. Why do we live here? Why is the? It's all wrecked. It's yeah. It's seen better days. You're not getting anything? Uh, nothing. What? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> like, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'm picturing good, good. the pendulum. Good. Jason, not the Pop Tarts. Uh, you can have Pop Tarts later. I just want a, yeah, just no, want a soda. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Yeah. I think I'm close, but not. I think it's, I think we're in the wrong building. I think that's what I think. I think you're so. toying with me. All right, watch the stuff going down. We'll go out to the sound stage. Da, da, da. Oh yes, air conditioning. Oh, that's good, okay. Okay. So we're gonna hide this <laughs> somewhere. There's a lot of places to hide it. Okay, full disclosure, I haven't been out here all week and I have not even seen what the outlay of all this I've is. I've never so. been inside here before. So. <laughs> never before, no. never before. Um, I I think that's as far as I'm gonna go with you, Jason. On Lisa, I'm gonna, uh, you can take this risk. Treat me like a pendulum. Treat me, you get, get a good grip, get a good grip. Yeah, perfect, yeah. Don't give it away, don't give it away. We're counting Ima on you. Imagine you can just, you know, push me towards that object. We gotta fool this heretic. <laughs> uh, because if he finds the book. Somebody might go. read it. <laughs> I'd say that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much garbage in here. Yeah. We should have yeah. just put it in a landfill. Because <laughs> it's just a mess. Except for Bonnie's uh, work. That's, that's the non-garbage area. Man, I just love that one with the yellow interior. Are you giving me nope. hints? Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, um, nope. Um, okay. <laughs> we can put it inside one of Bonnie's pieces of artwork and he has to smash it like a piggy bank to I, probably be bad. I huh? feel like that would probably get us in trouble I with think, Bonnie. Okay. Okay, we're gonna sh shift hands. Imagine you can control this hand. Uh -huh. uh, j again, just like the pendulum. Imagine you wanna reach for the object, and again, if I'm uh, if I'm getting close, think yes, yes, yes. If I'm getting far, think no, no, no. Uh, okay. You're doing a really got good job not giving this away too much. Um, I moved it after I moved it after she yeah, doesn't, after she doesn't she, know okay, where it is. Okay, all right, all right. She doesn't know where it is. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So we're just gonna just gonna go for a quick little little breezy walk here. Does it mess you up if we talked about a number of different places? That could be. Uh, be honest, have I been getting close to some of the places you've talked about? Yes. Okay, interesting, interesting, okay. Can we give it to Eli 2.0 somehow? Wait, that I don't has know, a this... zipper. Is it stuck though? I think it's too stuck. The zipper is it's definitely stuck. Yeah. <sighs> uh, we could hide it inside the remnants of the war horn. Oh, the war horn. That was pretty <laughs> great. Um, let's see. Oh, we could hide it in the costumes, none of which have been washed in like ever. <laughs> yeah, some of them kind of smell like the armor at Historical Weapons Guild. <gasps> so yeah, so really think of like the moment you uh, you both hit it. Really think about the moment like where it, where it went. Full disclosure too, because of the last two years and not being able to make contact with people, this is the first time I'm doing this in two years. Oh, so, and don't it's make with it weird. us, and there's so, all kinds of weird stuff in our heads. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you thinking hot and cold made me imagine that Joe is actually detecting barely perceptible changes in the temperature of your skin. There, there could be that too, or I could just be looking for a snack. Uh, <laughs> I like to think that late tonight, about two in the morning, Joe's just in here pulling stuff <laughs> off the walls. Where is it? Annalise is asleep. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm dragging her behind. 
Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. We're gonna give it to Dave. Okay. We're gonna give it to Dave. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna stuff it up his shirt? Yeah. See, he's got he's got a little bit of cake right here to keep the book from sliding out. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Uh, shake him a little bit. Make sure it doesn't fall out. Uh, okay. All right. If the, if the cake can hold a book, what does that mean? I wedged Nothing? it right between his Dave cheeks. The Dave cheeks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna swap back to you again, Jason, mm. uh, if that's okay. All right, let's, let's swap back. Tag your it. All right, so Jason, grab grab the wrist. Truth uh, time. I, truth time. I yeah. cut Corey open like a tauntaun. <laughs> shove the book. Oh no, him. oh no. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Um, he'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> uh, That's the book I wrote. That's that's what I was getting with that. It's probably better than mine. <laughs> uh, think. What the hell is all this? I I, I don't know. Like that's the thing. It's oh, like... I think I know. You probably don't want to touch anything over there. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh. oh, there's a whole place back here. Jeez. Yeah, you did not make this easy on me. Um, uh, I feel I'm, like just, I feel like if I even got started in this corner, well, it'd be a- There's so uh, many stabby be... things around here. Yeah, that's the other thing. I don't want to just like plunge my hand into stuff. He's hesitating so long. I know. <laughs> okay, I saw something purple and I got real excited for a second. <laughs> Oh, it's like a little, it's wet, a little wipe. wet wipe. Yeah, yeah. Right. okay. Control okay. this arm. Think of, imagine you're gonna reach for where it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that is the idiomotor response at work, person to person. Person to person, <laughs> yes. Tell me how. Okay, so <laughs> let me bask for a brief freaking <laughs> moment, because I had no clue <laughs> if I was going to be able to pull this off today. Yes. So just to be clear, it was tucked like behind the shirt. Yeah, right on um, Dave's cake shelf. Yeah, yeah, on his cake shelf. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Thank you for, thank yeah, you. Good job. Uh, thank you. That was amazing. So yes, it is basically a form of the idiomotor response with a person. We've done it before with the pendulums where you were able to put your hand on Brian's shoulders and control the pendulum in the bottle even though you weren't doing it. It's just, it's the same exact idea but through people. And again, like to point this out, I assume we went to like all the places you were thinking and suggesting <laughs> initially. You did stop at places that were really strong contenders. Like we definitely had a moment at the Warhorn. Mm -hmm. Okay. We joked about putting it in one of the Bonnie's pieces yeah. of pottery, uh -huh. which yeah. was the worst idea. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there was a moment I was like, that's a great, like, yes, this makes sense. And then I was like, the more I thought about it, I was like, yeah, <laughs> this would be, this would make it us all in trouble. So we broke it down into uh, several places. Basically, I, I needed to take a little bit longer with most people when you do uh, it's called the four corner test normally from that you know how they how they work because I know who you are and you know who I am I knew we were gonna have to walk around a little bit more I could have at that point switched over to Annalisa and done the four corner test with you but I knew if we just walked around and kind of got into the spirit and the fun of it eventually I'd start to be able to pick up on you on, oh. on what you were getting Okay, so my ADD didn't factor into it at all because sometimes I would stop thinking about the book and I would think, squirrel. I'm sure that was the moments where I probably went the most off the rails, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Uh, well, tell so, me what you're feeling for. Tell me so, how to do it. So here's the one downside. Once I tell you what to look for, you can't practice on people who know what to look for because they're just gonna do it consciously right. rather than unconsciously. Uh, mostly what I'm looking for is resistance. That's a big thing. You know, for example, again, with the four corners, I kind of felt which way, you know, which way felt the most 
easy to go and which way was the most difficult to go. And I went literally the yeah. path of least resistance. Like whenever you would turn somewhere, you would feel any sort of resistance or pressure yes. coming from now, me? Now the other thing too, I've got contact here, but I'm also feeling your arm. Even though it seems like we're just doing that, I can still yeah. feel yeah. if your arm is relaxed now or uh -huh. if you've got more tension or if you've squeezed in a little bit. There's a lot of those things that are, again, they're not hard and fast rules, mm -hmm. but they're they're cues, basically. Like, I didn't want to try to not do it mm -hmm. and to trick you. I wanted you to be able yes. to do it, but I yeah. didn't want to give you too much either. Exactly, and that's the other thing, too. There have been stories of contact mind readers who will get people, who will purposefully think all the different places, and the mind reader is gonna go in those places because that's where the people were thinking. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, if, like for yeah. me, like I, over there, I felt like I was, like I tried to not move, but I was like, oh, I don't wanna be around the pottery, I don't wanna be around the pottery, yeah. when in fact yeah. I should have been less, yes. I don't wanna be around the pottery so much as I do wanna go the other way. Yes. I found myself, when you were getting closer, getting more and more excited, and I could there feel myself doing it <laughs> yes. and seeing you react to it, going, you're just giving it away. Yeah, yeah. well, there, there was a bit, well, I felt that more so when I was over here. So again, I mean, it is- Because we didn't want you to go digging through the trash. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, remember, that too. Because any place that, that you were gonna have to search for this, we would have had to put it there first. One other thing too, is I asked you to bring one of your books. This is known as a big, small object. So you can't hide this, for example, between the pages of a book, like on the bookshelf, up at the up at the house. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you were gonna hide like a dollar bill or a playing card, that would be a much harder thing. I would literally have to think, narrow it down to that bookshelf, narrow it down to each book, and then which one feels right. Whereas this, there's really only so many places you'll be able to hide it. I knew you'd very likely hide it somewhere funny, something good, because we're here. But at the same time, I mean, there's literally hundreds of places just in here that that fit that parameter. How about this? I nope. the, oh, it's not big enough. Oh, it's not big, big enough. enough. You only told me to make it big enough for a sword. I did. <laughs> not it's, a book. That's on me. But I also knew, like, I asked you for a book because I knew you probably weren't going to, like, bury it out on one of the trails or anything like that as We're going to well. make you climb a tree. Yes, exactly, exactly. I don't want to put it in the dirt or the grass, though. Uh, yeah, we could. I mean, do we want, do we want him to climb a tree? <laughs> I kind of want to see Joe climb a tree. <laughs> I have a lot of information before we even begin as well. And that all goes into it. You are profiling your mark. Yes, yes, I'm profiling. I'm testing out with the pendulum. I'm doing a, mul a multitude of tests as we're going along too. And also the other not so secret secret, I had multiple people to play off of. So if I'm off on one, I could switch to the other and switch back. And I've had to do that multiple times in a variety of situations. It really is just like a tactile version yeah. of hot and cold. Yes, yes, but at the same time, you have to kind of turn off your Sherlock Holmes style brain and just go with what feels right in that moment. So it was originally uh, used by performers in the late 1800s, and there would be whole shows where they would just do contact mind reading. There was one mentalist who had a bill of over 50 different experiments that people could choose, and they were all accomplished through contact mind reading. One was finding an object, one was doing a murder mystery. So he would leave the room or leave the theater, and people would act out a little murder mystery game, pretend to kill someone with a funny object, like a roll of toilet paper, paper or whatever, put that object back on the table, come in and then he through contact mind reading would find out who is the victim, who was the killer, and what object was the murder weapon. Uh, it was really uh, popular by a gentleman named Hellstrom, which is why it's also called Hellstromism ah, as well. Right. Uh, which uh, he would combine it sometimes with a blindfold drive. There were other performers who did a, uh, combine it with a blindfold drive where they would be blindfolded, drive a horse and buggy through town which is weird because the horses can't see, but they would hide the object in a city and part of the publicity of it is this guy going down the middle of the street, you know, blindfolded via horse and buggy looking for this book or object or whatever that was hidden in the town. So it's a very, very old uh, publicity stunt and a very, very old technique and skill set. Genuinely blindfolding for some people actually helps make this work better for them because they're now just going off of reading the person and it's a good way to get their conscious mind out of the way. And then they can't see the snacks. 
and they can't see the snacks <laughs> and get distracted. Yeah, can't get yeah. yelled at for reaching for pop tarts. <laughs> <laughs> Having done this with the two of you, I think the two of you would be really good at performing contact mind reading now. Yeah. Uh, even more so, and I would suggest that people start with you know a, a test like the Four Corners or hiding an object under a cup and have a row of five cups or something. Uh, again, it's like pendulum work or dowsing, but you are the dowsing instrument. Oh, so this is an amazing party trick at the very least. Absolutely. Or if you want to convince people that you're gifted. A person went missing in my area and they were found not alive. And I was sent easily 50 Facebook messages from people asking, if I had a vibe, if I would be able to help the police or anything else. Now, the truth is, I did, and that is where, unfortunately, the remains were found. But let's just say I did this or talked with the person who hid them or something, and I found them. I don't think the police are just gonna assume that it was contact mind reading. I think they're gonna be like, oh, he's now an accomplice. Uh -huh. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yes, you do need someone to know where it is. And of course, you know, someone who hid, you know, a murder weapon or something probably isn't gonna wanna lead you straight to it. Uh, but theoretically, there have been people who have made similar claims in the past and I've tried very, very hard to say exactly what this is and not leave too much uh, ambiguity when it comes to something during a crime that, uh, so don't do it because you might get accused of murder. <laughs> yeah, but but like you said, fun fun party trick. If uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, there there's no in between with contact mind reading. Fun party trick or accomplice to murder. Like there, there's yeah. no there's you know, no in between. Sometimes the Venn diagram for that is just a circle. Yeah. Joe Diamond, tell us where we can find more of your amazing shenanigans. At Joe Diamond Live on all social media and JoeDiamondLive.com. And how can we get a copy of Necromancers on Drugs? Amazon.com available there. Uh, hopefully on uh, audio soon or apparently. Day Dave is carrying a few copies. Yeah. On his uh, yeah, you exactly. won't get one that has David butt juice on it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> no. Yo, what up? You ready to hear something for the very first time ever? Gonna blow your mind, buddy. NordVPN.com slash rogue. That's right. You ain't never heard that before. If you think you did, you're a liar. Sure. <laughs> or a psychic. Maybe you just had a premonition about the incredible discount that you're gonna get on two years of NordVPN, award-winning VPN service so good it gets past the Great Firewall of China. We're talking about total privacy where even your IT manager doesn't know where you're going. Not that you're going anywhere bad, it just ain't none of his business, Chuck. NordVPN has thousands of servers all over Texas, all over the United States, all over the Western Hemisphere. Yes, they're all over the world. You can go anywhere. You can tunnel point to point to anywhere on the freaking planet thanks to their servers. And they take your privacy seriously. Last time I checked, ain't no extradition from Panama. Besides, even if there were, there ain't no logs. They don't keep logs. In fact, they use logs to burn the logs. That's not true. That would not be environmentally friendly. I'm pretty sure they're smarter about it. Your mobile devices, laptops, desktops, up to six devices on one account. I know if you're the kind of person watching this on the Modern Rogue channel, you already know all of this stuff. You know the value of your privacy. But maybe just over your shoulder, maybe Nana's there watching. So let me, if I may, Nana! What? NordVPN's threat protection keeps you safe whether you're connected to the internet or not. Blocks threats, blocks tracking, blocks cookies, not Nana's cookies. It's safe, they blocked the bad ads. Bad ads? I thought this was a good ad. The important thing is to go to nordvpn.com slash rogue. Rouge? Swear to God, Nana. <laughs> no, I know, it's nordvpn.com slash R-O-G-U-E, you rapscallions. If there's one thing I've learned from this channel, it's how to spell rogue. Now, about unlocking your Bitcoin wallet. Sorry, Nana, what? I also now have the keys to your now encrypted hard drive. Nana, what are you- Call ransomware, bitch! And you wouldn't have to worry about it if you had threat protection installed from... NordVPN.com slash rogue, spell it right, R-O-G-U-E. That's right! Who wants a caramel? You shut the f up, Sonny! Modern Rogue is supported in part by viewers like you at patreon.com slash modern rogue.
in the description. You can find all of our credits and additional ways to support the show. That's authentic. You two pogger. <laughs> I'm pogging. <laughs> Go full scanners. Yeah. Boom! <laughs>